Great leader Harpo's petrol mon economy is tanking. So he's doubling down on terror. Harper hath declared, Jihadi terrorism is one of the most dangerous enemies our world has ever faced. But he seems to be forgetting Nazi fascism, the Cold War threat of nuclear annihilation, and the fact the planet is currently running a fever likely to burn us off like a bad bug. However, Harpo's new anti-terrorism act will let the Canada Revenue Agency text your tax return to the cops, let the cops bust and hold you for seven days without charge, and let secret kangaroo terror courts give you five years hard time for promoting tourism. So forget about committing sociology or about having any thoughtful online discussions about imperialism, drones, or root causes of terrorism. Because God damn it, that could make you a terror advocate. And if you know what's good for you, don't Facebook your displeasure with Canada's troops in Iraq, or Instagram your selfie marching against bombing Gaza, or even wear a Che t-shirt. Because faster than you can say Israeli apartheid, you will be on a no-fly list. And even better, none of this will require any parliamentary oversight. Given Canadian spooks spend way more time spying on idle no more and environmentalists than they do shadowing Johnny Jihad, this is truly priceless. Even though CSIS was created to separate intelligence from RCMP dirty tricks, CSIS now has dirty tricks powers all its own. So now Canadians have secret police to burn barns along with their beloved tunic mounties. But hey, that's all okay. Harpo says, it's the jihadists who are against us, the police who are on our side. Everybody with me at the G20 already knows about how the police were on their side. Now they will have the secret police on their side too. Bill C-51 is the third anti-terror law in two years. But even Harper can't say exactly how all this legislating would have stopped our homegrown jihadis. So now that Harpo's trawling Canadian troops as ISIS bait in Iraq and using the lone wolf attacks as his Reichstag fire to burn his political enemies, he's all geared up for a spring election. And this election will be all about tourism, because that's plan B. If it weren't all about that hate, it would be about the economy, stupid. In Toronto, for Rabble TV, I'm Umberto Da Silva. Not Rex Murphy.